Hi and welcome to my channel. I am Savita and this channel is all about DIYs and painting furnitures, mostly Indian style. And in this video, I am going to show you how I have transformed a hall tree into a bench-like room for my daughter. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe and press the bell button to get notified about my future projects. I got this hall tree for free on the curbside. Even though it was not looking great, I picked it thinking I could do something. Whenever my little one sits on it, she pretends as if she is a queen and keeps insisting me to make it look beautiful. Finally, I got the time to fulfill her wish. The backrest is too high and I decided to make it shorter to fit for her height. With the jigsaw, I was able to cut the extra wood easily. But later I realized that the backrest is made of thin plywood sheets which won't be strong enough. So I attached this wood piece to give more support. I have sanded the edges to give the smooth finish. Now it's time to paint. For painting this, I have used Fokker chalk paint. I chose the oatmeal as my base coat and later blended it with grotto. Since the wooden surface was not smooth, I have sprayed water so that the paint can easily spread. Once the base coat was completed, I started painting the color grotto before the base coat dries. This allows the colors to blend easily and gives a natural look. I have sprayed water wherever the paint dried. I use the brush to blend the colors evenly. Later I thought a touch of copper and yellow color would make it look good. So I gave a touch of metallic copper paint. I mixed a small amount of yellow with water and filled it in spray bottle. I have sprayed the yellow color all over the throne and wiped off the excess water. Since I felt the copper color was too much in some areas, I have used a damp cloth and removed the excess copper color. Now 
My daughter always likes golden decorations, so I have painted this wooden inlay gold and stuck it using wood glue. The throne needed some more work to get that rich look. I did some stencil work with gold and also highlighted the edges. Now the throne is in its final stage. Any painting work needs a top coat for protection. I did the finishing coat using wax. Wax protects the paint and also gives a smooth buttery look. I usually apply wax using brush but since the surface was not smooth enough I have used cloth. As we apply wax on the chalk paint, it makes the paint look darker. It deepens the colors and gives a soothing finish. This throne is now decorating my daughter's room. She loved it so much and the reaction on her face after seeing the finished product was priceless. She is my princess.